Hi guys. Um, so today I want to talk EXIF data. Um, we talked about it before, but today I want to show you how to use this data to rotate an image. I was recently pinged on YouTube about. Um, I mean, hold on for a second. Yeah, let's see if I can find that real quick. I mean, the actual question. Um, okay, here we go. So yeah, I think it was like a week ago. Yeah, all right. So here we go. Uh, Shahi Foy, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, nice tutorial, very helpful. Thank you, sir. Um, I was wondering if you knew if you know of a way to use EXIF data to rotate a mobile image back to its original position. I have a website that can upload images, but when a user when a user uploads a mobile photo, the image is displayed upside down. I was wondering if using EFI data could fix this and how would this work? Okay, so this is this is kind of interesting. I ran into this issue like say, I don't know, a couple months ago, and I remember like just banging my head against the wall trying to figure it out. Um, there's a website that I use as a guide, and uh, yeah, so, yeah. all right, cool, and all right, and it must be this one. Boom. Yep. So, uh, so check this out. The orientation flag is one, eight, three, and six. It shows different positions your image could be in. Um, yeah, so let's code this out and maybe just use this as a guide. So what I'm going to do is fire up my IDE net beads. And come on, come on, come on, hurry up. Jeez Louise. Okay, there we go. All right, so center this right. And... And why am I messing with this? I don't know. I'm going to start a new project. And see, I already have a folder together. Matter of fact, let's look at that real quick. So, I got these images I pulled off my phone. This is an image <laughs> of a buzzard I took outside my old workplace. He was just hanging out for some reason. And picture of my skateboard. All right, so those are the images we're going to be using. And if, all right, cool. All right, so you see how the images are laid out, right? All right. So what I need to do next, I need to fire up a terminal because we need to. You can see I have a hard time talking and coding at the same time. All right. All right. So now we want to fire up uh, our local host. Let's just say a a a a up and running. I guess we should put a file in there, huh? PHP file. Call this index. World. Save. So let's start coding stuff out. Oh. File name can't spell. And IMG, we're going to use underscore the 0395.jpg. And we want to get the EXIF data. So I have data equals EXIF. Let's read. Okay, here we go. Let's print this out. Let's see what we're working with. All right, so <clears throat> we're looking for something that says orientation. Okay, there it is. Orientation. And it's a six. So we'll go back to our guide. You see, it's a six, is 90 degrees to the right. Well, 90 degrees. 
So I take it, it's probably going to be about, what, 90 or either 270 to get it into, into the correct position. Alright, so what we need to do first is sift through this array. We're going to look through this array looking for this orientation key. And to do so, we can use a for each loop. Let's see. You know what? Let's stick this in there. What am I doing? Okay. All right. So um, for each loop. Guess I'm getting kind of ahead of myself. Key and a val, key and a value. Let's print. Let's print this out. Make another tab. We see your orientation key. All right, cool. So Basically, want to do a match on this. And I'll lowercase it. And once we do the match, we want to return the. That's it. Okay. I'm going to Stick into a function. I knew it was something I was doing. Function. function. That's still <sighs> tighten this up a little bit. Parameter there, so. and we're seeing if this key enters oh, lowercase equals the equals orientation. We want to return the value. All right, so let's test this out. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. And we're looking for six to come back. Boom. All right. So move this up here. Now we want to recognize the what is it called again? The or flag okay um, I'm gonna do another function. This orientation flag, if I should have did. Pass this here. And we can just say if it's equal to. No, oh, let's, let's use a switch statement. Case. Don't mind me, this is just how I how I write my switch statements. And one eight three six. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wrong ID this Mike's code. I've been trying to learn that lately. Okay, 
when I say one, take it eight, get number three. I think I said one eight three six, right? One eight three six. Alright, so if orientation flag is one, huh, if we return zero, we don't do nothing. And so if we're returning, we don't need to break technically. Um, if it's eight, I guess that's 90 degrees. Yeah, I guess that's 90 degrees. This was 180. Yeah. 180. And I'm guessing this is 270, like 90, 90. Um, either this is 90 or 270, or this is 90, 270. We'll we'll I'm have to test that. Um, take this break out. I'm going to change this to degree. Because that's basically, you know. Um, maybe I should, that's that orientation flag in this. Anyway, um, I think you get the gist of it. Uh, this tells us how far we should be able, we, we need to rotate our image. Alright, so we gotta basically suck all this into a image string, right? Or output of image string. So let's just say image data equals uh, is it image create? Create from JPEG, right? Yeah, original. Okay. And now we want to rotate it. Image. Rotate. And so there's another method. I think it's image rotate, right? Let me read this real quick. Um, we don't need the specify as the color of the. Okay. So what we'll do is say we'll pull this, basically read this image into here, pass it here. We need to know what kind what degree to change it. And um, wait a minute. So I just saw it make this zero. Okay. And then I think next we just need to write the image out, right? So image. Okay. This the rot this is the rotated image, so we can place that here. And we need a new file name. So call this rotated. I think all right, I'm just I think I'm done. Um Yeah, I think that's it. So let's just go in real quick. No, that's not right. Now I'll just be I'm gonna just make yeah, because I wanna make a new image. I don't wanna write over the image. So what I'm gonna do is um, take it. Original file name, 
and the pen, uh, well, we pen uh, wrote the word rotated to it, rotated file name, making that variable. Reading this, get the Excel. EXIF data, and then we got orientation function where we're sifting through that and trying to match the key with the orientation, but we return the orientation flag, which is with this image is six. Oh, that's not right. Okay, so technically this should rotate 270 degrees. Where am I? Increase the image. You know, I think you're supposed to do an image destroy too or something like that. I think that's just good practice. Destroy. All right, let's just run it. Let's see what happens. Cross your finger. All right, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, one other thing. Let's come on, Joe. Everything works out right. See, these are women. These are huge images too, all right? So, all right. Here we go. Fresh. Um. Boom. All right, so this is our original image, and this is our rotated image. Um, ah, okay. I've been rambling. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I'm probably going to clean this up and stick it on my GitHub, but, yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, you read your image in, uh, extract the exe EXIF data, and we're looking for the word within the array orientation and return the orientation flag according to this guide, the six, and then rotating based off of that and saving the image. So it's not bad. It's pretty simple. But yeah, cool beans. Anyway, have a good day, guys. Thanks again. Bye.